Lori Lucas moved to appoint Dr. Carlos McGarvey to fill the open Emerald Township separate committee position, and Dave Burke seconded the motion. It was approved. There was no secretary report. Treasurer Fickle was not able to attend, but sent his report. General fund, $4,425.76. Political fund savings, $2671. Bills for West Bend News, $5,500. Slate card mailing was $3,292.58. Slate card newspaper ad was $196. Voting progress, state card newspaper ad was $295. Dave Klein made a motion to pay the bills as presented in Dave first, second of the motion. It was approved. Balance of general fund after bills was $642.18. Jerry Zucker reported that three candidates, Harvey Hyman, Shane Lee, and Russ Herman, have requested the questionnaires information from the governor's office, which are due on November 30th. Jerry is waiting on Michael Workin's resignation letter to move forward. If the committee receives more than three applications for the open judge position, the committee will need to select only three before sending to Columbus. Chairman Zucker gave an update on the commissioner position and the only person to contact him so far has been Lisa McCord. Jerry Zilke set up a nominating committee to review the applications for judge and for commissioner before committing. Lord remind members of the Christmas party at 6 p.m. December the 1st, 22, at the Senior Center. At 7.44, a motion to adjourn. Meeting was made by Lori Lucas and seconded by Dave Burke. Meeting adjourned was approved. <coughs> Next regular scheduled meeting will be Thursday, January 5th, 2023. Any additions or corrections to the minutes? Very was your day, so we can have to talk about that. Third grade, yeah. Second. I'll second. <coughs> All in favor say aye. Aye. All those? Okay, I guess we're ready for both. Well, last month we paid quite a few bills and took our checking account down. Our current balance, we did have a $50 deposit in the last month, so our current checkbook balance is $692.18. And our savings account balance, the political fund, is $26.71. Then I also have a bill here for approval for after that. So. We do the bill right now. That's good. Okay, we have a bill here for uh, FedEx. Jerry had to ship uh, the judge's information to Columbus. So it's a FedEx bill that we owe Jerry reimbursement for $31.40. So make a motion to All in favor say aye. Aye. Okay, so moving on to the chairman's report. Update on the judge replacement. Um, uh, I finally received the Michael Woodcamp's resignation letter on the fall, from the fall election on December 9th. I couldn't send it to Mr. Thomas until I received that because uh, he was going to be elected as of January. They told me before that you know, they wouldn't have the same judge until after January. So, I guess what I saw was setting me to make sure we got that done before we sent So, not real happy with Michael about that. Um, it took forever to get it done, but we got it finally done. Uh, I shipped the application package uh, from RV and Shane and Russ. They all sent one in, uh, so we didn't have to meet. We will post it uh, to the legal counsel on the 12th. Uh, after the people I had collected kind of reviewed them and, uh, at the last meeting, and, you know, we thought maybe we'd have to bring it back. Really to produce it. We had only three, but we only had three. I mean, you know, I was pleased we had at least three. Who is that? Dave, uh, Lori, myself, and Dave 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 Then uh, Roy did send me a before the end of December, around Christmas time, uh, his resignation letter. It said he wanted to have something wrong in it. Out. <coughs> trying to make sure he got his insurance. He did not get out his insurance between when he was trying to additional jobs. So effectively, the letter uh, was on December 31st. 
at 11.59 p.m. Um, so um, that, that came through. So um, I think that's really all I had. Um, we, you know, I've been trying to set things out for uh, Christmas when we start doing things to pretty school tonight. We'll see how this goes. I mean, goes from there. Um, I don't. Uh, the judge thing. I'm not sure when they're going to make that appointment. Sometimes it takes a long time. Um, they have not called me and asked any questions lately. They call. They needed. Except my thought knew something, but unfortunately, if you send me an attachment to the letter form, it gets blocked and didn't go through. So I had to resend it to somebody else in the office, and so then we got it. So He's the chief legal counsel for the governor, so I'm sure it's got to be blocked and it's just sending stuff in. So, uh, but we got that worked out. One of the girls took care of it in the office that originally contacted me with the packet information and questionnaires. Just for everybody else on the committee, uh, and I know Lori and Dave, a few days, looked at all this stuff. Um, <laughs> there was a lot to fill out for that. I mean, I don't know what you guys thought, but it was, it was intense. You basically signed up your line, <laughs> and the packets were like this. Yeah. You know, but I had to send up like us and the link to send them. It was just so much. But, uh, so we'll see. You know, I mean, uh, the governor's the only one person who made the decision. So, uh, you know, each, each guy or each person that put their stuff in had references. My understanding was they're going to check all those references. They're doing extensive background checks on everybody. Back and look at their legal stuff. Uh, it's, it, let's put it this way: it's a whole lot easier to get elected to a position like that than it is to get appointed to a position. Like so, uh, it was really kind of amazing. So, and that's the important. So, I think all I have on that for now. I'm sorry my voice didn't get dry, so I can't talk about sometimes. But, uh, Lori, I'll let you go on with the huge report. And we'll can I ask a question on that? So when they appoint this position, is it only for two years? Or is it for the remainder of or is it for the entire term? Or? No, I think my understanding is. Yeah, it's fire term. Hello? Huh? It's for the entire term. So whoever gets the last one. It's a full term. Yeah. I, yeah, I think it, it, this term is six years. But I think it's only going to be for two. If I understand what I read, um, and I'll have to go back and double check that, but I, I don't think it's going to be for the whole six years. Do you know what you have? Any insight on that? On the yeah, judge? Uh, nothing official, but I heard 2024 he'd have it run. Right. That's I was right. thinking it was like when that next county election comes around. Right. Right. Yeah. So just, yeah. Just, I think the next time we have. Those people, from that group of people running, that's the understanding I had from the SOS. Right? Yeah, the judges have a little different treatment on filling positions versus the county positions. So um, that was my understanding based upon yeah. the kind of diplomas. I had worked on that project for a while, but back when people were asking about the position, the, the people in contact with Arvin and Shane and, and uh, Russ. Uh, I checked that out. I'm, I know. I don't remember now. It was because I had to send it back to the sudden where I got the new salaries and what the you know, potential salary was going to be, so they did that. Uh, and so uh, and, and I guess I checked that too with Tessa, and then I also talked to Frank and Rose too uh, about that. He was the Okay. So, so, with that being said, you'll have to file in December of this year. Right. Because the private will be in the So that's when it's all like going to run against Sheriff Brown. That's the same. He was like, well, I actually have to take Yeah, that's what it's going for. Yeah. Okay. Any other questions on the judge side? It's moving forward because, like I say, it takes time. And I've heard some counties say it can happen in a month. I've heard counties say it takes two or three. I know for the financial benefit of the county, it costs a lot of money to have the, the travel judges come in. And, you know, um, you know, it costs a lot of money to have that happen. Uh, 
the judges from office staff that I've talked to, you know, they've been getting along pretty good. It's not as easy. I've had a couple of attorneys call me, you know, what's this going to get done? You know, the practice in the courts because it's not as easy to get stuff done when they're not here all the time. And so, um, so we'll just see. Like I said, just took a little bit of time. Uh, just got to go through the process. The governor gave the list of what we actually had to do. Just for the details. So, Joe had it. Okay. Okay. Um, I called the commissioner's office and got um, the uh, extension office for our our banquet this year, and it's going to be the twenty third. You know, the same time it is every year. September. Yep. And. What I am hoping is that we have kind of a feel for who is running in the primary next year for the Republican to run against uh, Sheriff Brown. So we can have Senate candidates come in. And so we'll hopefully that, and I'm gonna start right away uh, looking for a speaker. So. But we, the women did not decide to do anything this year um, like we did last year with the meet the, the candidate form because obviously there's nothing happening <laughs> this November. So um, there won't be a special. We'll just have the fair tent and hopefully people will sign up and because we made a lot of money this year at the fair tent. So well, President candidates too might also I don't know how lucky we would be there, but we can always hope. Secretary of State doing both the judge stuff and 
in, in this process just to make sure we got everything right. So uh, we didn't want a, a situation like they had in, in Defiance County. So uh, that's why we didn't do any decisions in, in executive session. Defiance County did that. Got all the numbers. So I think we got everything under control. So, so um, anybody else got any comments? I have a question. I'm just telling who the three candidates oh, okay. are. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, go ahead. Uh, Lisa McClure, uh, Fred Lang, and uh, Rhea Garozia. He's the actor from Hamburg. You gotta spell that right. <laughs> <laughs> he can say it, he can't spell it. Yeah, thank you. He so there are two from Hamburg and one from, and Lisa yeah. from Burbank. Yeah. Okay, my question is actually, there are a couple. As you guys evaluate these resumes, is there any weight given to a representation across the county. Have we ever had a commissioner from Antwerp? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All the times. Really? Yeah. And we've looked at that. I mean, when we made a okay. decision with Clint, right. the reason Mike, part of the reason Mike was the commissioner right. was because we wanted to stay in a school district. You know, I'd love to have somebody from Antwerp, you know, but I look at what the qualification sure. of the person is. And based on what I think they can do for the future of this community, that's the way I always look at it. I think most of the other people in this community look at it that way. You know, I want I want the best people in there to, to get us to where we need to be going. You know, you know, we were blessed a number of years ago to get wind farm money that's helped us, or we'd be in serious trouble today. And so Claudia knows that she she handles that money, and you know, we'd be in dire states if it wasn't for that. There was a lot of hard work. Going and on the front end, and a lot of people, you know, don't know all the people that were involved in I was involved in early on with Terry, Lisa's husband, and Roy, and, and you know, it, we, we get serious trouble with this town. But, you know, we, we need to move forward, we need to have a vision, and so, you know, uh, I think, we, you know, uh, you know, times are tough, though. I mean, everything's costing a fortune. Travis knows that in his department. You know, fuel's just outrageous, and so. It's, uh, it's tough making the budgets. I know it's been a challenge for commissioners to get the budget to <clears throat> this coming year. So. so back to my question. Yeah, go ahead. Then you would say that overall, the committee in general is going to look at the resumes, consider, I mean, that's a small portion of it, as already stated, right. regarding Mike right. coming on. Okay. Right. Yeah. It, we will, let, let, me, all, let me add something to that. Each one of us is going to be an independent sure. vote. Sure. So we're not a collective group thing. Group thing. So some may take that into consideration, somebody else might not. Sure. Okay. So, Thanks. Sure. Yeah, it's 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 more about, in my opinion, the way I know it is about where and uh, who's the best person, you know, and, you know, from that standpoint. You know. You can't I mean, we don't make those decisions very often, fortunately. Unfortunately we've had to do it twice in the last couple of years, but you know, that happens, so Make it work. So, right, thank you. Any other comments? Okay, we'll go, let's go ahead. I just wondered uh, if these other folks they couldn't make it tonight, or they notified, or I had let them know that we were meeting tonight. Okay, so they had that information. Okay, we're going to vote. Oh, uh, wait a minute. Uh, Travis and Dave Birch, you want to tally the votes, please? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> hey, Jerry. Is this is this just whoever is this a plurality, a majority, or something else? He was just saying, go ahead and tell me. All we do is we take a vote if there's one person that gets more than fifty percent of the vote on the first ballot, then it gets over. If not, uh, if you have multiple people that don't reach fifty percent, then you cast a low one and vote again. So whoever gets a majority wins. Okay. Well, that's, well, that would be a majority, so yeah. not a plurality. 
And two, just so everybody knows, some of the committee members here have worked and talked to a lot of other people, so, you know, uh, about this position. So it's not like it's just a few applicants we've got. We've got a couple people. But, you know, one of the things I found was when people find out what the time is involved, you know, most people miss the research out short time. <coughs> So, uh, okay. Four votes cast. Okay, so we have one abstention. One, 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 or 11 for Lisa McClure and one abstention. Congratulations. Congratulations. Speech, that's the majority. Give your attention to speech. <laughs> I just want to tell you that I, I appreciate Mark and Mike for putting up with me for the last four or five weeks and asking a lot of questions. <coughs> um, I appreciate your vote of confidence. My mission statement at the foundation is dedicated to giving, growing, and distributing gifts for the betterment of people of Albany County uh, today and for future generations. And, and that's my motto, and that's what I live by every day. So I'll continue to live by that. <coughs> Thank you. Yeah, you need to do this. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't have any uh, old business unless somebody else has anything. How, how long will Lisa's term be then? Will this. Till the end of 2024. She'll, still she'll have to. Term. Okay, she'll have to run. Next general election for commissioners. So basically, she'll have to start running in the primary. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Which will be in March, so it's like final December. Yeah, December. Of this year. Gotcha. <laughs> okay. So, you know, anybody that wants to run, can run in. Okay. <coughs> I just wrote it in the okay. line. So okay. we did it by, I'm going to write so we did it by a ballot. Okay. And I'll make sure. Okay. I just want to make sure what everyone was doing. Yeah, I'm going to write that in Okay. It was done by ballot vote instead of uh, we had it set up. Okay. I was in the school board mode there doing that. So <coughs> that's how we do things in school board. So, uh, spring elections, I've asked the election board to give me who's running, uh, who's up for election. Uh, the mayor's township trustees. Not the Oh, no, so yeah. yeah. it's just the local. It's what you were right with the movie you were saying, the trustees, school board, and village. Oh, oh, but they aren't part of the They won't play that. They'll be on the Not part of the Oh, okay. Because when I looked at the, like, this, the SOS office the other day at the state, it said it had a primary date for 2023. That's because yeah, there are primary candidates in this county. Oh, we won't. Okay, that's right. Mm -hmm. If there is a special election, somebody else to put it back level, I'll know before you paying for it. Good. So you don't. Okay, so that works better for a lower income. Yeah. So, okay. So, okay. so we'll work on that. We'll get that list and figure out what those are and, and get that distributed. One of the things we're working on that we didn't get done for tonight was uh, eventually Wayne's going to have to do the end of the year audit stuff for the state. Uh, I want to get a summary of that so we can tell the candidates that are in for election this year how much money we spent. I've had some people question how much we do for candidates, and uh, this year it's coming up to a pretty large number. Uh, I've also requested the state to tell me how much they spent from the state central committee. In the county because they did at least two flyers to all the Republicans and those weren't cheap. I know they weren't, but I had a, I was able to get all the candidates listed on those that were running the general election so um, that they allowed them to put the issues on there too, but they didn't they got that. So there's an issue with that to do it. So uh, and I also think they did that. Yeah, Lori gave me the women's women's spent. Close to twelve hundred dollars this year on candidate stuff with all the, the events she had and stuff. So uh, 
uh, we spent a lot of money this year, so that's why the balance is so low. But we wanted to make absolutely sure, you know, those state races were critical, uh, you know, with the justices, and you know, fortunately those got done. It'll be interesting to see who the governor appoints. Uh, yeah, we did. Oh, Somebody did. called him Hamilton. Oh, did he? Okay. The state for the, the state so Supreme Court. Yeah, yes. it's a guy, Judge Ron Hamilton. Uh, Jim Kennedy. He's the prosecutor. Who? He's the prosecutor. Right. Yes. <laughs> I just knew he was some. <laughs> Um, we with the, the one thing of importance for my office this year, since there's only going to be one election, is we will have a 911 <coughs> levy come up. There will be an increase needed uh, as we get started here in 23. We'll work with Claudia's staff to get uh, projections in the commissioner's office to. See what that will be, but our, our projections will exceed our revenue in 2024 or five, I think, right now. So there would need to be a, a slight increase in that. We'll communicate that to the public as we move forward throughout the year. But other than that, everything's good. Staffing's good. Everything's up to par in the office right now. So, in case you didn't hear, we have fire for elections. And they have to throw everything out of the I was very unaware of what fire does. They said right up front that smoke ruins electronics. And it does. I think everything up there is just trash. Turn it on, the smoke rolls, and it goes away. So they're through the insurance, it's put all the stuff in the office. It did not get to the machines because that's on a separate um, ventilation system. So it didn't, that smoke didn't get carried back there. So it didn't work on the record just to put on all this. But anyhow, it's all back up and running. Next week we go to to a conference and that ought to be interesting. What was the cause? Uh, what was determined to be the cause? Batteries fell off a shirt. <coughs> that one little waste basket caught up on fire. Never heard of such a thing, but it happened. Well, that's why Worlders doesn't, and Coparts don't want our batteries, just for that very reason. Well, something about the new batteries. The, the older, like a battery, I can use a flashlight. It's the lithium battery. Yeah. 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 Anything else? Anything? I mean, you just been throwing the budget stuff. Really done. So are we? What are you going to take off tomorrow? No, she'll have to be sworn in. The documents have to go to the state. Uh, I will get those to the election board office tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to call them first to follow up. Yeah, you got to sign on the paper. I have to call here. Call them out on the name in. Oh, a week or yeah. Uh, like I wish Roy could have been here tonight because he he knew how that process worked a little bit with Clint. Maybe I don't know. You remember Mike? Mike, Mike. Wait, Mike Clint, how would we? Uh, I know we signed off. But did you? There was a glitch. And it took a week or two because Columbus was still working from home, and so the paperwork couldn't oh. get quite through where it needed to. Joe got an opinion that they could actually, uh, Roy and Mark was able to appoint a phone call from that, yep. and that was our bridge until the paperwork made us. Right. Back to the well, place. I know I read something in the revised code that the commissioners could do an interim commissioner. You know, Saying you had a temporary appointment until temporary those people appointment. that were sworn in or right. nominated. Okay. So we'll finish that paperwork up tonight so I can deliver it to you there tomorrow. So to the election board office and then uh, we'll see what else they need to have. But I want to call them first thing in the morning. So I wasn't sure we were going to go ahead and do things with this stuff. So other than that, that's all I have unless you guys got something else. We'll do it here. I'll second. <laughs> <laughs>